We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? We're going hunting. When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> we were stranded at sea <clears throat> for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. We have need always to be will. We need you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. <laughs> we'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Cuts. Come along. I was thinking, oh, usually on the first day you start your winner, you're like 10, 10, and all this. You can do an eight foot puzzle. Here, you take I'll this. Up. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. What? Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. I'm recording now, so. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. No. Okay, and it's out. Come on, this way. I mean, stories have to wait. Who's happy there now? Just ride with me. Come on. Oh, yeah. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Oh. Days I'm going to go find out. Stupid I'm mistake. Yeah, it's bad. bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. And I was like, I'm going to disagree with it. So they're going to have to have my coffee tea. And she was really like, got the hang when we're in bed, I'm like, yeah, it's lights out. <laughs> it's so, okay. It's like you're not staying with me then. Okay. What's like you're not staying with me then? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. You might like this, you have to pet your horse. Careful. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. <laughs> I've been fed loads, thanks. Been a wild few days, all right. Uh, riding north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, I've been told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Okay. Come on. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. There's 
deer been here? And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Alrighty. setting off without that bow keep down move quietly and slowly you see the tracks I think so maybe not focus it's what to live them shit press alpha and r3 that's it you line oh I say Look, there they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. Want a good kill. Focus, Arthur. Fuck, I'm anticipating some drop. Oh, I see. Take your time. Hold the right mouse button down to pull the bow back further. I see. Might be our only chance for a good meal. Little footprint on the radar, okay. Shit, where'd they come? Not that way. What are you doing? Well, woman will pay us, why? I missed. Okay. Yeah. This is not as easy as it looks. Keep following the tracks, Arthur. I can throw these brown eyes pretty good distance on it. Aiming on the fucking console, man. Oh, come on, why is it so unsteady?
Where are you going? Follow the tracks. Ugh. I'm gonna follow these tracks. Can't be house crawling it, takes forever. Right, let's not miss this time off. Oh my days, this controller, man. I get, oh, fuck out. I fucking, I've maimed it. Sorry, Bambi. Man, I've got to finish it off. Well done. I think Sorry, man. Just be a clean kill. Okay. You pick up one, pick up the other. You sure I'm your sorry. hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. You're bad, Grab man. You're bad, man. in the rush again. Stuck. Good boy. Saddle up, boy. Got us some meat. Got to live on your own. Come on, then. Let's head back. Yeah. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us off. Oh, watch it. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big <coughs> This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Wild look. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Okay. Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? 
I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. There. He's been real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. I got it. That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? Come on. Cut up here, off the trail. What are you, my friend? Oh, get a bear, anything else hat. The bear spooked your horse. I'm gonna put it as nearby your horse. Yes, agitated. Yeah, it, boy. Okay, all three to cool me down. never talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yeah. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. But for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Jose. Huh. I'm sure. Just safe. Save most of them. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. That new horse. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Uh, careful. Whoa! I'm gonna hitch time over here. Horse bonding increased. Okay. Hitch her up. Get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. Look where the little. snow kind of appears on the horse. Practice to master. You can have your off full back. Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. <gasps> what a surprise. 
to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Oh man, it's like the old days, the old Red Dead Redemption. Holy moly. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Both need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs>